what's going on guys welcome back to the channel well today's the day we figure out if we can get that box to turn back on if you guys remember here let me go grab the flashlight uh i was doing a firmware update and my ecu decided it wasn't going to light up no more so i have everything unplugged i'm just going to let it un just unplug it for a couple more minutes and then i'm going to hook it all back up see if I can fix it now according to the internet all I have to do is use my three and a half inch and load the firmware seems simple right yeah when I don't have a three and a half inch it kind of kind of isn't that simple and when they're sold out they're not it's not that simple and when you look on Holly and you can't get them and they only estimated shipping until the end of June you're like what do you do? Well, if you're me, you get on their ass and they send you one. It's a huge shout out to the guys at Holly for getting me this like ASAP. So I only had one shipping delay with it, which was awesome. But here it is. Let me just open it up for you guys. It even comes with the stylist. How do you like that, eh? which is going to be super helpful. Uh, let's get it out of this bag. Uh, let's see the date code on it. 2303.31. So end of March, which is awesome. Uh, it's got the little thing. And it's Terminator X. So... Um, while I'm uh, just waiting a couple minutes or whatever, just for the battery or all that, just to do whatever, according to the the video that I watched, I'm going to get this battery on charger because it's been killing with all the dash stuff I've been doing. So, I don't know, folks, think this will work? Comment down below. Uh, I'm going to try it out here, and I'll let you guys know right away. And then I'll, if it works, I'll show you guys how to do it. If not, well, then I'll have to figure something else out, won't I? Well, folks, we got stuff happening. It seems like we have stuff happening here. Um, all I did is I went to files, and then the update firmware. Uh, I'll show you what I did when this is complete. But if all goes well, look at that. Look at that. We got lights. It's okay. Reconnect this device. So, I'll hit OK. Before, yep, before startup, I have to do a TPS auto set. I will. Okay. Now let's turn up the key back. And that should light up again when I turn the key over. Ha 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 ha! Business again, boys and girls. We're in business. Awesome. Okay. Now. Yes, I know I have to do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me grab the stylist. Then I gotta zoom out a bit. There. Well, we'll see here. Go back. Okay, what I did to do this. Now, you have to have this cable plugged directly into the ECU harness. No splitters, like you see I have splitters. No splitters, none of that, or else you'll screw it up. Okay, it has to be directly connected. As you can see my dash isn't hooked in, waiting for data. So, anyways, what you do is you go to File, you go to ECU HWFW. And then it will, uh, well, mine said nothing here. It was blank. So then I just hit upgrade firmware. And as you guys saw, stuff started to happen. Now, I'm not going to do it again here. So there. And then all you have to do is, like you saw, just turn the key back. Everything lit up. Bob's your uncle. We are, we are money, folks. So now... What I'm going to do, probably the next video on this subject, is going to be showing you guys how to set up the wizard with this. 
So, because the way my com the way my ECU sees everything right now, it's got no tune in it. Okay, it's all factory reflashed, refreshed to brand new. So we are going to run the wizard program and show you guys how to do all of that. So stay tuned if you don't want to miss it. Also, I mentioned in the last video, I need the I want to get the screen protectors, and uh, this is why. <laughs> so, but one more thing I want to touch on. Sorry about the buzzing here. Is I'm thinking of pulling the switch out of here and just getting the cover. So then I can mount this guy right here. Because I have a big screen coming from my radio. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. Think it would matter? Because 4x4 doesn't really work. So that's where I'm gonna end it now. This was a quick hit. I save my uh bricked ECU, and guess what, folks? We did. We saved it and it lights up again. So now all I have to do is run the wizard program and we'll be running. The Tahoe will be running. So, but that, like I said, that's going to be in a future video. We've, I've got lots to do. I've been sick for like the last month and running around all over the country with my daughter with sports. So I've had a lot of videos stacked up. Um, I've probably got about a thousand messages on Instagram and it's weird because I don't really use it. So I apologize to anybody who's trying to get a hold of me. I will get to you. If you want to get a hold of me quicker, uh, hit up the Patreon. Um, that's the easiest way to get my attention right there, right now, uh, just because with the summer and with everything being so busy. I am thinking of starting a like a, like one of the trial programs with, with Patreon, so you guys don't have to pay. You can try it out first, and if you like it, then you can pay type of thing. So, but just trying to make you guys all happy. So, but we got lots coming up, lots coming up. Uh, mud bogs car shows, a whole bunch of stuff. So maybe some surprise guests. There's lots of craziness on on deck for this year. So thanks guys. I'm I'm just so happy. So happy I fixed my ECU. And if I can do it, you can do it too. That's the basics of the channel. If I can do it, you can do it too. So with that, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Till next time, take care of yourself. I'm Mike with Tahoe's and Turbos. Love ya. God bless.